In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to separate um, different layers from a rendered animation into different material passes using the material ID that you rendered in uh, V-Ray. So let's start by opening our, our rendered images and also our material ID images. So you go to File, Import, File. And you only need to select File. And then if you select the first image in a sequence and make sure TIFF sequence, or this might say EXR sequence, make sure that's checked and make sure it's importing as footage. And all you have to do is select the first one. And it'll automatically select the remainder of the sequence. So say Open, OK. And then let's do the same thing for the images. So Import File, uh, find your image folder, select the first one, make sure it says Sequence, Footage, say Open. And you now have your rendered pass and your material ID. So we're going to use different colors of the material ID to separate out the different materials in our animation. So let's first bring those into our working timeline. So you want to be here um, and then just drag these in. You'll see it automatically makes this into a composition. <clears throat> and so we'll want to have duplicates for, for every material that we're going to use here. So for this example, I'll just extract the roads and I'll separate the water as two separate materials. So let's go ahead and uh, rename these. So we're going to rename this one uh, Roads. And then let's rename the material ID Roads Material Mat ID. Okay, now I'm going to copy both of these down again. And these will be our water, this will be our water layer. So I'm going to right click on this one, select water or type in water. Right click on this one and let's call this one water mat ID. And again, you'd want to do this for every single layer that you have in the scene. So, for example, if I turn this off, you can see all these. So, for every color, I'd want to create a separate layer. It's also a good idea to have the um, overall rendering as the base layer. So, any materials you don't extract will still show up in the background. Okay, so let's start with our first one. So, what you want to do is select the material ID layer right here go to effect and then keying and then color key and it'll add the effect here you can also access the effect if you open this up and look at the effects you can also access it here so this is the same as down here you then want to let's turn off this layer so we can see our different colors so we've got our material ID layer active let's use the eyedropper and let's select the roads which are the uh, purple color here and um, let's go ahead and now select the water material ID and do the same thing. Effect, keying, color key, and uh, let's turn these two off. And then on this one, we'll select the water, which is this gray. Okay, so that's all you have to do for each layer. So you just have to make sure every um, layer has its own set of material ID and, and the overall composition. And then uh, make sure the material ID is above the layer. So roads mat ID has to be above roads, etc. So always make sure the mat ID is on top of the other layer so we can use it as a mask. Then select the rendered image and then over here under track mat from the drop down select alpha inverted mat and that will extract just that layer. So we're going to do that for the water as well. So alpha inverted mat from the water ID and if I turn off this uh, uh, the overall animation you can see we now have the gray layer on its own layer and the roads layer or sidewalk layer on its own, I guess that's a sidewalk layer on its own layer. Um, and each of these are their own layer on the timeline. So now if you want to change values, like if we want to start to color correct just the water layer, we can select the water layer, go to effect, color correction, and use all of these uh, different um, effects to change the color here. So some really good ones are sh uh, shadow highlight, I also like vibrance if you want to increase the color of a certain color. Um, levels, you can change the brightness. Uh, there's also brightness contrast, which is a really good one, so let's try that. And then once you add it, it's just like the other one where you can go into effects and change the values here, or you can change them up here. So brightness, for example, if I want to brighten the water, I can do that. Um, you can stack additional effects. So if you go to effect, color correction, you can also change things like the color balance. Um, or the hue saturation. So I'd recommend just trying some of these. They're, they're the same kind of uh, options that you have in Photoshop. Um, if I choose the um, color balance, for example, I can then change if I want this to be a little more blue in the midtones. You know, I could start to change that and make that a little more blue. 
and you can see now that that tracks throughout the entire animation so it's really a, a nice um, way to better adjust your images also you notice this rendered with an alpha channel so I have no background so you might want to import um, just a basic uh, file let me just find a um, basic file here oh, uh, make sure you don't do sequence there so I accidentally import that as a sequence so go to file um, import file and I'm going to select that image and make sure you do not have JPEG sequence selected there so I just get the one file say OK and then you can drag that in you can see that's now my background so I could use a much better sky for that if I wanted to um, so that's how you start to use material channels and material ID to separate out layers